In this video, I just want to talk to you about managing your materials inside your substance stager file. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we can do that. <clears throat> the best one is the project materials panel, which exists down here in the side. What this is, is this is a comprehensive list of all the materials that we use in our scene. So up top, you will find all the ones that are, are currently and actively being used. And then down below, we have all of the ones that are, you know, you can see this with this little X that's through it. You can, uh, you'll find all of those there that are not currently in use. Now, it doesn't do much damage and increase the file size a little bit to have these around, but if you wanted to delete these, I can shift select those and then just hit the little trash can down here to delete those. I can also start to group these a little bit into folders. And additionally, I can add a new default material there just by clicking that little plus icon. So I can go and add some material attributes. And then once I'm ready, I can just drag and drop it into the scene. So like, let's say for instance, if I wanted to drag and drop this car paint onto the ground, I could do that there. Additionally, they automatically populate the second you drag and drop things into place. So if I drag and drop this tile in here, you can see it um, updated there as well. One other thing that I want to draw attention to is this magic dropper. Um, so what this does is this is allows you to say, you know what, on this object, you know, we'll just, we'll just use the, the base of this, um, of this map character. I want to say, you know what, what's on the ground, I want to apply to that too. So what you can do is you can select this little eyedropper icon and say, I want to select the ground. So it's it. It's a little bit of getting used to, so I was have to practice it a couple times. So select the object that you want, then select the eyedropper, and then select the object with the material you want to map onto that. Now, what ends up happening is you see that there's only one of these instances down here. And that's great because now you can control this parameter and all, it, all these parameters down here, and it affects everything all at the same time. So if I wanted to increase the, the repetitions on this, um, you can see that does it in the same spot. I can also change the default to these hex tiles. And one of the things I wanted to show, oh wait, maybe these guys here. One of the things that I wanted to show uh, in the Brambers panel was that you can actually um, do some really cool stuff. So some of these, like this this tiling one, has a damage filter, which I absolutely love. What you can do is you can increase the damage tile. So as I slide this up, you can increase the damage value. You can unstick some tiles so some of them go away, and then you can uh, up the dirtiness as well. And all of those parameters actually will dig in here as well. So you can, you can combine them both together. And additionally, if I want to go back to what I had before, I could simply um, add this concrete back down there, uh, go back and add my default material down to the ground and we're back to where we began. So very cool interactivity with our properties and our materials with just some simple management tools inside of Substance Stager.